First things first, if you're going to play this game on emulator, use EPSXE 1.9.0, because 2.0 and 1.9.25 are slightly faster than PlayStation, whereas 1.9.0 isn't. Right, first things first, after Ron stops talking, you can hit X to hit the first crate, and then hit triangle to go into first person mode and hit the second crate. Oh, and another thing, if you're using console, watch out because that tends to crash whenever it wants. Uh, yeah, and then you do that. Uh, there's a there's a different kind of strat, a faster strat, but a really annoying strat. Something else, NTSC is slower than PAL on in-game time, which is really weird. But it doesn't matter too much because we can just differentiate the real time and just use IGT as a guide. Right, the other strat is go to run and talk to him. And I'm going to save state here because this is annoying. Get on the first crate, and we're aiming towards the second crate, and hit it and jump onto it almost at the same time. Okay, yeah, it is pretty difficult. But if you don't want to do that jump thing, just go into first person mode, hit the crate, exit first person mode, and then try and jump onto the crate, which is also pretty difficult. Something like that. And turn around to first person mode, hit this one around about the top there, and then get onto the roof. And you want to stay on the side of the roof so that you trigger the cutscene. If you go a little bit further on, you won't trigger the cutscene, and so Harry will just jump off the roof and you have to watch Ron climb and everything, it's boring. Right there, if you skip text pass enough, you can get three pipes on the first cycle. And those pipes are the only random pipes, the rest of the pipes uh, have the same pattern every time. So you kind of have to work out whether you need to go left or right at the start. It's just a 50-50 chance thing. But otherwise this is pretty simple. If you're wondering how the crate or wherever it is goes really fast left and right, that's because... Whoops. That's because I'm pressing the button like right after so it doesn't stop right in the middle right it's enough of that right here you want to hold upright so that you fall a little closer to where you need to go You go in between these crates. That leaves this junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these. It's right here. I'm going to save state. So you can either just hit the barrel and then open the door afterwards, or you can try for a padlock skip where you. You let go of X and then start mashing square so you can open the door at the perfect time just before the animation starts, like that. It's. I'm not sure if it's really frame perfect, but it's really tight. And if you fail it, Harry will turn backwards and that might trigger Ron's cutscene, so you might lose more time than you save. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna skip through this test. If you guide the puffs, whenever you get a wizard card, it is put there are two types of famous witches. You don't need to bother with this. Then you've got Mr. Weasley. Hello, Harry. Use your Wingardium Leviosa spell to charm and move the junk. 
So when it says could you, you start mashing X as well. So you can hit your first object. That's weird that I got the TV first. I'm used to getting... Actually, no, it isn't. So I thought you usually get the first crate first and then the TV. But no, you get the TV first and then this crate. And you want to hold up right. And then when you see the little light flash over the crate, you just hit X. Or you can mash X. Might be a bit of lag, I'm sorry, but that's my computer being bad. It doesn't like the CPU that OBS somehow uses. And this bit is really boring, so I'm just going to speed through this because all you need to do is just tap X to start the throw and then absolutely bottle the throw because it's faster. And you get two bo two text boxes, and then mash X to say no straight away. Right here is just a load of text, and even more text for dueling. Oh, here's the lag. These jewels have patterns, so you want to learn them. If you hit them just before they're about to move, then they'll stay in the next position for a while, allowing you to get a good fully charged shot on them. So I'm just going to show you some decent fights, just to show you how the pattern works and how the stuck position works. That didn't work out very well. There you go. Expelliarmus. Skip through this again. Just going to talk about special jinxes. Get ready. And special jinxes will come in handy in the second round for this one. It's RNG, but they can come in handy. Oh, I could have actually hit him there. Well done, Harry. You won the first round. Oh, I want to save state. Just in case I get a bad fight. Oh, I didn't get it. Alright, so if you get a triple shot special jinx there, you can get this trick where the middle shot hits Fred and then he runs into the right hand shot. So it's basically just like a one shot kill right at the end. Oh, and I forgot you have to mash X after Fred says wow. We need to find it's not a very good tutorial if I forget stuff is it? So you kind of ideally want to get hit by these bees because you need a lot of damage for a death abuse later. Here you can either start moving down here so you can lure the washing machine over here so you can just jump straight at the hedge so whoops get onto the damn thing I want to aim for that diagonal bit because that's the furthest the closest bit to the hedge so you can do that or I didn't say stay at the beginning of the section if I don't get this then I'll just clip the video into it. There is a skip you can do that saves like 10 seconds. No, okay, so the washing machine's designed to move really early, which is really annoying. So what you could do is just I keep saying just. <laughs> you hit the washing machine twice and then you bump into it and then you run into that corner over there and if you've done it perfectly then the washing machine will bump into you run you into the corner and clip you up the hedge so you don't have to fight it oh getting lag again
And then come Garnu and Leviosa through this tree. There's a second washing machine here. You just have to kill it. If it's managed to shoot three times, then you want to stand on this pad so that you can lure it over so you get a quicker Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa! I always wonder whether there's a padlock skip there. It seems possible because you have a lot of time to move. Anyway, here. You need to just hit the barrel, then open the door, or well, you can try for a padlock skip. This one's a little more difficult, but you want to go around the barrel and then mash square. I'm not going to keep trying to get it because it'll probably take me ages. These lawn mowers, it's good to get hit by them, like I said, for damage for death abuse later. Oh, I thought it was getting lag again. And there's also bees there here. You want to. I'm not sure where they are. Oh, there we go. So you want to line up against this little line in the floor and go right by the pad. And there you go. Nice little spot. There's also a really precise spot right in front of the pad. But that's just dumb. You want to go straight back here. And then there's this log. You can either climb up it, or you can walk against this wall, and there you go, you just clipped off it. That saves like 0 0.7 seconds. And now here is the biggest trick in a run, and the easiest wrong warp in any game ever. So you talk to Ginny. Hit the pass gain for the remember all. And you want to face away from this wall here. And then you just pick up the remember all. I'll speed through this. And now. So the reason why you face away from the wall is because Ron spawns from there to take you to the flu slide. If you face away from the wall, he won't spawn. So you can leave out that gate, then go back through it, and suddenly. You're in the Gryffindor common room. So you've essentially just skipped flu slide, a cutscene, very long cutscene, um, the flying section, Whomping Willow, another pretty long cutscene, and also having to go up to the common room and find out the password. This is around about 15 minutes, maybe a little less than that. Yeah. I shall try to show you the really fast one. Something like that. You want to hit the remember on a side so that you're facing the side. I think I'm going to get Ron. No, I managed to turn away just in time. Yeah. Well, so you want to be holding back left in this loading screen. So you can escape Ron's second bit of dialogue. So you say we made it. And you can hold back left and then just run straight through. It also means that Colin won't show up, and Colin's really annoying to try and skip. So, yeah, doing that's much better. Next part will be Herbology and probably a few more things.